Hey everybody, Tortoise Investing here, coming at you today with some information on the iBit Bitcoin ETF from iShares. I bought some, I've gotten into crypto now, own some growth stocks, I still have my dividend stocks to have CHD, so don't worry there, just opening up and broadening my investing horizon. So I hope that you can stick with me. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Drop a like. I greatly appreciate it. And let me know down below, do you own any Bitcoin? Do you own any of the iBit iShares Bitcoin ETF? I'd love to talk to you about it. Now, without further ado, let's take a look at iBit and some future projections for Bitcoin. So this is on my M1 Finance. Uh, I currently own 27.73 shares of the iBit uh, Bitcoin ETF. I got in at 3621 pretty much dead even right now on my returns but that is a-okay we are not buying this for right now we're not buying this for next month we're not buying this for next year I am talking six years from now is when I'm gonna worry about where this is sitting and I am more than confident that I am going to make a very decent return on this I am fairly positive so let's take a look here. Uh, over the last month, Bitcoin's up 26%. That's nuts. Uh, the iBit ETF is up 24.86%. So right in line. Um, it's it's not a exact one for one, but it's pretty close. And I like the ETF idea of having this in my portfolio. I don't have to make a separate account or anything. I can just have everything all in one place. I like that. I like that M1 allows me to do that and that this ETF happened. And honestly, once the Ethereum ETF, if that ever happens, Fairy Mail may jump into that as well. But we're, that's for a different day. Uh, first, let's take a look here at some Bitcoin projections. So, into the year 2024, if you see here, not too much movement, not too much going on. Uh, we'll go out to 2026. Uh, things are starting to look a bit more. Uh, we're 150, 200 thousand dollar range. Uh, we go out just a little bit more, 228, uh, 228, 2028. Uh, 300 thousand area, 400 thousand area is where it's projected. Uh, at this point, we are like 5xing our money, what we put in, which is great absolutely great uh, 2030 uh, this is when things start getting absolutely nuts um, from here on the projections are just anywhere from 700 to as you see right at a million dollars and my ideal like retirement date uh, I want to retire in my mid 40s so we are going to go out to 2040 for the projections again this is all projections I'm not telling you to go out and buy this and you're going to get a million billions if you do so always do your own research crypto is a different animal it is very risky this thing can drop or go up 50% in a day when it drops you gotta have the guts to hold it and buy more but the projections for this is just absolutely crazy into the millions of dollars and at that point you're looking at 15 20 30 40 X in your money if from if you were to buy in today uh, again you can see here potential return on investment we're talking in the four to five thousand percentile now if you take a look here uh, Five years ago, if you'd have bought in, you're looking at 1,461% return on your funds. And we'll take it back just a little bit further in that. Uh, here in 2018, if you would have bought in, whoo, look at that, over 1,500%. And if we go back even just a little bit further into 2016, uh, yeah, 10,000. It's it can get crazy very crazy when it comes to Bitcoin uh, got a couple more projections here um, there are some that think uh, end year 2024 we're looking at possibly breaking the hundred thousand mark 
2030, again, you're getting those projections of around 340, 350,000, some of them even more. Uh, there's no telling really where it'll be, but I just think that it's going to be up. It's definitely going to be worth a lot more than what it is now. It's against my personal opinion on things. Um, and one reason that is because of something that they do every four years called the halfening. And what this does is, if you don't know, Bitcoin has a limit. There are only 21 million of them out there. Uh, I think something like 19 million of them are already mined. And every four years, it gets harder and harder and harder and harder to get a Bitcoin. Uh, and these are just some of the return projections. Uh, so we got uh, back in 2011, 2012 area. Uh, 365 days after that happening, Bitcoin went up 8,000%. Crazy. Uh, 2016 area, 365 days after the happening, 284%. And this last one in 2020, after the halving, 559%. Absolutely nuts. Absolutely crazy. Look at that. Back in, this thing was $2.54 in 2011. Man, if we could go back in time and throw some money in it then. But this is something that's going to happen every four years. Uh, supply demand, uh, it's going to be harder to get them and it's going to make them more valuable again my personal opinion on things so where do i see possibly this going this one thousand that i put into bitcoin well i'll be honest with you i can see this being my first 10x maybe even more uh, i've got the patience i've got nothing but time on my side uh, if it drops i'm just gonna buy more i'm gonna hold it and you know see what happens but i'm very confident in uh my return that i'm gonna get for this against gotta be patient gut check guts here gut strong and i have a great feeling about the future of bitcoin again let me know down below do you own any bitcoin do you own any in the etf do you got it on cold storage hot storage let me know Love to talk to you about it. That's all I got for you today. Like and subscribe for more. And until next time, take care. See you.